Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies. In this video series, we are discussing about JavaScript. In today's video, we'll see what is difference between using dot notation versus array notations in object. So we generally use dot notations as well as array notation to access the properties of objects. Okay, we can use either of them. Now, uh, dot notation is mostly easier to read on comprehend. So you just have to specify the object name, then dot and the property name which you want to access, correct? There are certain advantages of using uh, bracket notation or we can say array notations because uh, array notation allow us to access object properties using pro variable name okay so you can specify the property name inside a variable and you can use that variable to access uh, the property value from object dot notation so uh, in case of dot notation it is not possible to use variables okay uh, reason being simply uh, in dot notation generally it expects the actual name of a variable after the dot okay whereas in case of bracket notation whatever is placed inside those bracket is evaluated to get the name of the property okay so that's how it works now array notation is also used in cases where we are not sure about the keys okay so there are certain behavior of keys let's say maybe there is a space between the uh, property name or uh, there is a special character inside a property name okay so in that scenarios we cannot use dot notation to access the name of the property from object okay so let's uh, go to vs code and we will understand this clearly with the help of examples so we'll consider an object let's say car which is having certain properties let's say we have name Maruti, then we have model, let's say Suzuki, the price, let's say 12 lakh, okay. Now this is our object and let's say in case of dot notation let's say i want to access some of the properties right so what i can do is i can just specify the name of object and followed by dot name of object followed by let's say i want to access name so dot and name that's it right and if i try to execute this i'll get the name of car right that's maruti so it's very simple to use dot notations but in certain scenarios let's say in case of for loop uh, where we want to use variable to get the properties uh, name so in that scenarios we cannot access the dot notation okay so i'll just give you an live example here let's say we want to iterate over this object's property and get the properties one by one okay so for that what we'll use we'll use uh, for in loop we'll have variable let's say property in car okay next thing now what i have to do is let's say i want to print each of the property along with its value right so what i'll do i'll just specify let's say car property and this property uh, when iterating will refer to the properties over here in the object right here what i have to do i have to use array notation to access the values of property okay i cannot use car dot prop over here because uh, in dot notation we expect exactly the name of the property whereas here we are using variable so in that case i need to use the index or the bracket notation now let's say if i try to execute this I'll get the property name and its value. Okay. So this is one scenario where we have to use the index notation or the bracket notation. Second scenario will be, let's say we have a space in the name of property. Okay. So let's say we have some property 
number of seats okay and here let's say i specified four seat okay now this is also a property of car object right and just comment this for now now let's say i want to access this uh, number of seat property value from the car okay so if i try to use a dot notation and if i try to specify car dot number of seats so it's giving me error and if i try to execute it uh, it won't be possible it will give an uh, error right so uh, here in in this scenario where the properties are having space uh, inside its name so in that case we have to use index notation we have to specify the index and inside that we can mention the name of property okay now let's see if i try to execute this yeah, left space dot between sorry yeah so you can see we are getting the exactly the value uh, value of that property right uh, one more scenario let's say uh, the property itself is having some special characters let's say dot in its name right so in that scenario is also we cannot access it using dot notation so for example we have number of or number dot wheels right so let's say four wheels this is perfectly a valid name for property in an object but if i try to access it using dot notation so it will not give me an uh value uh, it will give me an error okay so cannot read the property wheels of uh, this object correct so for in this scenarios also i have to use the index notation here i need to specify the property name in which is containing the dots correct and now i can execute this and i'll be getting the value of property correct so these are certain scenarios uh, where we have to use array notation or bracket notation instead of using dot notation to access the object properties okay so if you have any questions you can write it down in the comment sections thank you for watching this video do not forget to subscribe this channel